Hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be my first video, and I'm going to show you guys how to do like a scoreboard or a money system or player offline uh, using commands in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So, I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like so you guys know what you need. Uh, and we'll build it. So, this is what you're going to need you're going to need four chain command blocks, one repeating, one impulse. You're going to need an observer, redstone, comparator. And that should be it. So what you're going to want to first do is you want to go ahead and set up your layout. So you want to set your observer there, some redstone front, comparator there. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay these out like this, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look in these so you guys can see what they look like. What we're going to do is for the first repeating command block, we're going to leave it unconditional, always active, zero ticks, and we are going to do test for at all. So let's do that right now. Test for at all. Make that always active so it's giving a redstone output. And then for this one, what you're going to want to do is execute at all, tilde, 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 scoreboard, players, operation, at self. And then whatever you're going to want the display of your scoreboard equals at self and then your secondary scoreboard for that. So what you're going to want to do for those is you could do scoreboard, objectives, add. Like I've got them already built, but for this example we're going to do test and then you're going to want to do dummy. And you're going to want to do that again. And I'm just going to put a D in front of it so it's displaying test. And what we'll do is we'll... At the end here, we're going to do that extra little name there, so that's what it's going to show up on the screen when your scoreboard is added. So we're going to do that. So now we should have test and dtest added successfully. So copying this, I'm going to do execute at all tilde 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 scoreboard players operation at self dtest equals at self test sorry about that so let's just go ahead and make sure that we type this up right so operation what we did was at at s d test equals at s test right and so all of your data like all of your money or whatever num you're going to be using your numbers for is going to be saved into this one and then it's going to be it's going to set these two equal, and this is what's going to be showing the numbers so that when a player goes offline, it'll actually remove the scoreboard, the display scoreboard, and it'll recreate it with it equal to this so that it'll be able to show the, um, so it'll be able to get rid of the offline players and show the players who are still online. So then what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to remove our scoreboard our display scoreboard so we're going to want to do scoreboard objectives remove d test and then for the second one you're going to want to re-add it with whatever you want it displayed as so scoreboard objectives add d test dummy and then we're going to want to do test and then for the next one up we're going to want to add zero this scoreboard like for example here's how I have it I have it in the pause menu because I personally think it looks better we'll just have it on the side of the screen here when we're done here but so we're gonna go ahead and add zero to everybody so scoreboard players add at all test not d test te we're gonna do normal test and then zero and then the top one so we're gonna have it how it's displayed so, for example, we're going to do scoreboard, objectives, set display, uh, sidebar, and then dtest. Right? And then if I just go ahead and update this, there we go. So now it shows my name on the side under the scoreboard test. And if I do slash scoreboard players set, it's alpha, or I guess I can also do for your guys' sake at s test. Two, so there it go ahead and up updates on the side of the screen. If you want it in the pause menu like this instead of on the side of the screen, you can do what I have here instead of 
On this one, I have to set display sidebar, which is what the test is showing. This one is set display list, and then the name of your display scoreboard. And so then it'll be in the pause menu guy, because I personally think it looks better that way. And then, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And the next episode, or I guess next video, we'll be going over how to set up a buy and sell shop for to cooperate with these commands. All right. You guys have a good rest of your day. And this is Zephyr. Peace out.